Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. School of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. <laughs> Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. The security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Them windbags are playing for keeps.
kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window, it's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. Right back at you. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. He's a mighty fast learner. Find the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins.
that one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. Takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. the core to the wharf district he steals the city's heart might as well kid has a feeling he better get a move on the place is starting to fall see that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat it just keeps running. Somersault like crazy. At last, the skyway is in sight. Him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. 
There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Ain't always much to say. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Ain't much Kid can't handle with hammer and bow in hand. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. He's focused. He's armed. And he's off. shot just happens in a flash. It ain't done bad at all. He returns with some of the materials we need. Sometimes a single look says it all. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. 
Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful at a pinch. Squirts just don't know when to quit. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, Key can fine tune those instruments of his. Good length of me's gut. That bow's like new again. Core ain't here neither, so he's gotta guess again. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. Now 
there's a new marshal in town. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. He heads for the biggest dump in town, Scumbag Alley. They always said old Gershaw wouldn't go without a fight. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. The rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. The windbags used to be all right, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again, only fair he decides what we build next. Takes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Cinder brick style sure goes down smooth, then stays in your gut like a rock. Traces of other cores while the kid was out. Kid ain't had enough of the breakers' barracks.
solid performance. What else is there to say? In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on a squirt. figures it ought to be deeper down. It cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. Stuck inside one of those fancy cages. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. No break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it open. Throws a switch. Now, what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Scores born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Birdie pop that mean old form. At this rate, maybe five more minutes. Maybe thirty. Hard to tell. we 
Let's get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. It ain't all bad, as the kid finds some spices from the motherland, tax free. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy. I still remember the look on his face after that one. Oh. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Kids lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Can't be too careful these days. Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then... Somebody gets to the core before the kid. 
floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. So could a reckless kid, for that matter. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. Kid thinks twice about risking his hide for it all. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. position. But calamity changed everything. Even when the wind blows. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. Who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. ship live munitions down the path. He's wise to toss those things and play far away. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky if you wake them up. Quick and careful is the only way to go. In all this toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. We ain't much for pleasantries. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kids sees it plain, frozen faces all around. 
You don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. Kid sees him there agape, in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. Stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions after all. Just ain't got time for answers. The Tunder brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the bird boy who didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Sr., Grady Jr., they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. We all lost loved ones in the Calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. The cores. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right.
The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. All it takes is some fragments, and the Bastion makes it good as new. Kid packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. His bow's looking lean and mean like a prize fighter. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Some folks showed up to make a fast buck with nothing but a knife. Other folks came to train that throwing arms. Slippery little devils. Still others use the place to test their finest blades. Kid cuts all of them down soon enough.
kid comes back from Windbag Ranch smelling good.